you got to do me a favor, buddy. You have to make sure that I don't bet the Houston Texans on Sunday night because this is shaping up to be like the most public, obvious, square Sunday night play of the year with Detroit laying a small number against the Houston team. The last time we saw them, they stunk up the joint on Thursday night football against the New York Jets. And we know what Detroit has done over the last two and a half years when it comes to covering numbers. They've been off the rails covering numbers in these games. But when I smell a rat, I smell a rat. Raheem, I think the Lions this week is one of the biggest rats we have on the Week 10 board. Do you agree? Ugh. I know the Sharps are going to be on the the Texans, but I, I can't do it. Like I get I, it. I, I, I get like, it. Listen, I totally understand. I feel the same way. I don't want to bet Houston in this spot. I don't. What's the case for Houston? Extra time. Mm-hmm. Get Nico Collins back. That's my case. I'm not saying it's a good one. I'm just saying you wanted me to make a case for Houston. I made the case for Houston. <laughs> And that Detroit is going to maybe do to play a tight game here. The other side of it, too, as well, is the difference of Houston at home versus on on the road. I mean, C.J. Stroud averages over 300 yards uh, of passing. And for whatever reason, his pass protect, it could be a function. I'm not going to sit down and do the schedule analysis of the game, the home games that Houston has had since they acquired C.J. Stroud in the, in the draft. But their pass protect is superior for whatever reason thus far over C.J. Stroud's career at, at home. And all he does is get 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 cooking. Um, my concern, J.J., is what you see as a rat. It looks like a giant lion to me, buddy. That doesn't look like a rat to me. That looks like a giant rat lion that's coming in there. And his name is Darius Smith. And he's ready to come in there and wreak some havoc on, on C.J. Stroud. So that pass protect that I'm referring to, it better be there. Because the Lions are coming. Before we move on, I think it's important to recognize that this Texans offense it still leaves a lot to be desired. You look at them from a success rate standpoint. They're 29th in offensive success rate. That's worse than the Carolina Panthers, the Tennessee Titans, the New England Patriots, the Raiders, the Bears, the Broncos, the Cowboys, the Saints, the Giants, the Dolphins without Tua. That's how bad they've been from an offensive success rate standpoint. So if you look at the look ahead line on this game before the season, it was Texans minus one. We're at three and a half. At one point, it was four and a half. The Lions 40 and 15, a 72% against the spread over the last 55 games. I think if you want to play the Texans, the way to play this is the under. Because the strength of this Texans team to me is their defense. They are. They have a solid defense. So if they're going to do anything, it's going to come from their defense. You're talking about the defense, which is seventh in EPA per play. So the, the Lions' defense is fifth in EPA per play. So I think you have two solid defenses. If you look at how the Lions have been playing, they, they like to they like to run the ball. And Jared Goff has only been throwing what twenty times a game or so. So if the Texans keep this close, this game is going under. So that's probably where I would lean on this game. 